Where are the most dangerous and deadliest stretches of roads in mid-Michigan? New data released from the state police shows the number of injuries, deaths, and the cause of all crashes from last year across the state. TV5's James Felton spoke with the Genesee County Sheriff to see what authorities are doing to make the roads safer. One fatality or one massive injury is one too many, but it's a reality and all of us need to be a part of the solution. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson reacting to the latest traffic crash statistics released by the Michigan State Police. In 2022, there were 10,181 vehicle crashes, 2,980 injuries, and 50 fatalities in Genesee County, a slight drop from the 2021 totals. Well, locally they're down, but statewide they're up. And we all travel outside Genesee County, and we have people that travel in Genesee County. So I think it's important to all the viewing area, when you are moving about, whether it's an interstate or whether it's a secondary road, or even in a subdivision, there are so many factors you gotta be aware of. Genesee County had the highest number of crashes, injuries, and fatalities of any county in the TV5 viewing area. Swanson tells us his office is doing what it can to bring those numbers down. And even right where we are right here on Saginaw Street, we were having a, a, an epidemic of people running red lights and stop signs. You got to stop those people because if, if somebody is allowed to do that, they're going to do more and more and more. It doesn't mean that everybody's getting a ticket. It just means that, hey, you're going to be held accountable, so change the behavior. Swanson is quick to point out it will take all of us doing our part on the roads, telling us one car crash is one too many. There's victims out there that are suffering in hospitals right now that, uh, that are victims from crashes or even the ones that are at fault. Don't ever take for granted that, you know, we've been driving forever. This is what I do. All of us need to be vigilant. Reporting in Genesee County, James Felton, WNEM TV5. And you can see the full report in the Thursday Hotlink section on WNEM.com.